Hello, Twitter world. Yours truly. So, today I'm going to be talking about my C420 PAPR. So, PAPR stands for Powered Air Purifying Respirator. I had to read that off. Um, so, how it works. Air comes in through here, and then comes in through the hose here, and blows into your gas mask. So these will work with or without the filters on. So these are good for the 40 millimeter NATO threads like that. Um, I don't really like running those. They just add more weight and momentum to like every time I move. But what I do like doing is when I'm not using the, uh, the PAPR unit is I will just put my, my hose into it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, uh, there's actually two different variants you can get of the C420. One is the variable speeds and the other one is the on off switch. Uh, I got the variable speed one because I wanted to preserve battery life by just keeping on like setting one or whatever. Um, the most popular ones are the on off switch ones. I'm not saying that it's too hard to get the variable speed ones. So also the hose does come off it's uh, also threaded onto the unit itself. Um, the battery, the battery itself is <laughs> stored in here. I don't really like messing with the battery really all that often. It's been a pain in the ass because it will get caught like that because I have the AA adapter. You can get the stock lithium cell ones, which is really expensive. I didn't want to pay that much. So I just bought the AA adapter one. Um, Despite the fact that there are eight Energizer Maxes on this, the uh, C420 tends to just eat through batteries like crazy. Um, this much will last you about two days worth of airsoft, so about 16 hours. And that's even if you like turn it off between games and don't just leave it and leave it on like setting one all the time. Uh, I noticed that it just doesn't blow as hard after the end of the second day. Um, also, this really fit that like fit that great into here and screwing it back in is a bit of a chore but I'm gonna have to screw it back in so I can show you how loud this thing is you don't need to screw it in all the way though it still works even if you don't screw it all the way so this is how loud it sounds on setting one And this is how loud it sounds on setting three. Right now I am using like more dead batteries. They're more of like less charged batteries, I should say. Uh, so you won't really hear too much of a difference there. Um, so let's see, storage. So how I store these, um, it does, they, these do have a pouch where it kind of Velcroed on, let me show you. So this is mollied onto the back of my plate carrier, and this is the pouch right here. How it works is so you just place it in, and I pull the Velcro strap right here. Okay, right there, and Velcro it in, and you're all set. And then you can put your filters on right there. What I like to do is just shove the uh, hose through that little into the handle, is what you would call it, I guess. But I also like how easy it is to just take it out. Um, I used to store these on a battle belt. I used to have that molly pouch there on the back and like the tramp stamp part of your battle belt. Um, I wouldn't say I would ever want to do that again because the momentum of the uh, of the PAPR unit you know, just swaying side to side, you'd have to run a certain way so you wouldn't like like act, just like run against the grain of how it's swaying. Uh, you couldn't really sit down otherwise the filter would like catch onto something and then it would just like kind of shove into your back and it was just big pain in the ass. No pun intended, but um, yeah, I I would prefer having it on directly on the back. Um, but if you need like a mini map or an assault pack on the back of your plate carrier, like at all times, 
and you really don't want to take it off, you can. You can actually shove these in the mini mats and they will work. So what you got to do is unzip your side panels here and unzip the top obviously. It only can fit into the main pocket. Shove it in there. Zip this. Zip it up right there so that it has your hose sticking out. And then you can have the opening for your threads to go. You can put the uh, filters on it while it's in the mini mat. But it just looks so ugly. And you could probably only do this with the Ido Gear mini mat because the real mini map wouldn't flex so easily. So it's just just keep the filters off for this. Um, unless you're actually going up against real like chemical agents and keep the filters on. Uh, so yeah, it does they do fit into the mini map. So if you need to like stick your mags into here or have pouch stuff here or like your radio, you can do that. I like to stick my radios into the side pouches. If you have the right cumber bunch for it. But um, in a previous video I made, I did say that you can hear the, uh, the PAPR unit through the VPU of a gas mask. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, luckily I have the 40 millimeter threads. I'm gonna do, throw that in there. I want to thread it all the way so you know exactly what it will sound like during normal use. Alright, so you see I'm already kind of fogging up. That's because I'm wearing a ball of cotton under this. Don't do that. I only do it for theatrics. Alright, so this is how it normally sounds. You know, you can kind of hear my breathing. Uh, so this is how it's going to sound when you have your PAPR unit on it. So this would be setting one. You see, it, it kind of sounds a bit different. So let's have it on setting three. Uh, you see, it's just like, you can pick it up. After a while, it doesn't really become such a big deal. Um, yeah, like if you're, if you're really wanting to run a stealth build, I would not suggest doing this, but if you like maybe maybe like turning your vpu off would help and only using your like a throat mic for comms or something but other than that like this is this is so loud and kind of obnoxious like even in my gopro footage of my crytek video you can hear my uh you can hear my vpu and like the papr unit all coming in at the same time it's just uh you know you can't really do one or the other but yeah, that is uh, that's my review for my C420 PAPR unit. Oh, one last thing before I go. So mine did come in broken. Um, if you don't want to spend about a thousand dollars to buy one of these, and you want to just buy it aftermarket on eBay, um, these can come in broken. So this is a very simple system internally too. So everything right here except for like this part in the center is just hollow space so that air can just like go through into the fan right here. If it sounds really weird and just kind of like disconnected and kind of terrible, um, like your fan stripped, you can fix that. It's kind of simple, but it's kind of not. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, if you want to go to the warranty route, like if you really think you can send this back to a company and they'll like fix it for you, don't do this because there is glue on the on the seals and the screws and they'll know that you opened it up. So what you're gonna do is you see these black little dots here. You know, take these off. I don't want to lose it. You know, take those off and there are screws in each and every one of these. Uh, unscrew all of those and. Uh, these black little like metal bands right here, they do come off. All you just do is uh, pop them off. I would not use your fingernail for that. You, you're you gonna curl your shit back. 
get like a knife or a screwdriver, pop both of these off. Don't worry, you can put everything back. And a screw right here is often overlooked when disassembling this. Unscrew the screw, take this part off, take the, take the battery cap off, and unscrew your hose. And there's this rubber gasket right here, which is then wrapped around this part. Take that off, take, take it all off. Pop this in half. Um, after it's popped in half, there is going to be some more screws. Unscrew those screws. Then you get to the center console. The center console kind of looks exactly like how it does on the outside. So there's going to be glue kind of surrounding the border of it. It's going to be really obvious. It's like white, yellowish glue. Uh, pop it off. And if you keep some JV Weld on hand, because you're going to need to reassemble everything after you're done. So uh, pop all of that off and just kind of pop open the platform with the with what's holding like the motherboard and the fan. So grab the fan and if you see like turn it on too and if you see like the motor there's gonna be like a, a motor pole and a and like a plastic fan duct. If you see that the motor pole is spinning and the plastic fan duct is like barely spinning if at all, then that means that your fan got stripped. And what you're gonna do is pop off all the JB weld on the fan and uh, then you're gonna you're gonna get new JB weld and stick it in the canal that contacts the fan like pole and the actual fan duct and just put it right back on. Don't put like too much or just don't put any at the bottom so that it doesn't like get stuck towards the the shaft of the fan where it then can't move anymore. Do it more towards the top. It's not really gonna drip a lot unless you use like Loctite where it's just gonna get everywhere. At that point, you're using the wrong adhesive. I would say JB Weld. And uh, JB Weld, then the case back together and uh, stick everything back where it was, reassemble it, you know, just wait for it to dry and you're set. Mine was like that. I got pretty pissed because I paid $300 for mine. Took forever to come in the mail, finally got it. And uh, then I had to order a battery. Battery came in, and then I found out my PAPR unit was broken. So if you're dealing with that, try that out. Um, any other problem, I can't help you. I don't think anyone else can because nobody else had this problem either as far as I was looking. And, uh, yeah, be safe out there. And uh, have a nice one.